This is Mary. Welcome to the IHC Craft Room. I can't believe it's already the end of November. Time is just flying right by. And there's only a limited amount of time left to make more glitter ornaments. So let's get started right away. Grab your stuff and let's get crafty. Let's begin with the pink glitter ornament. And then we're going to need some multi-surface paint. We're going to have black, fuchsia, and white in this design. For tools, we're going to need a paint palette, some painter's tape, or something to rest the ornament on, dotting tools, rubbing alcohol, some pliers, Q-tips, toothpicks, and the evil glue gun that hates me. After cleaning off the surface with rubbing alcohol, we're going to use the 10.0 white rod tool to place our first dot. But first, take a deep breath, let it out, and place your center dot. This white paint is a little thick, so I'm going to use one of my dotting tools to smooth it out just to make sure that when I put a top dot on top of it, that it lays down nice and smooth. For our first row, we'll be using the three millimeter green stylus and black paint to create a cross pattern around the center dot. We'll then go back and place another dot in between the dots we just laid down in order to keep everything balanced and even. This is the best way to go about it when you don't have guidelines to follow. Next, we'll use the one millimeter blue stylus and black paint to place dots in between the ones we just laid down. For our second row, we'll be using the three millimeter green stylus and light pink paint to drop a dot just above the smallest dot from the previous row. The light pink paint is made by mixing fuchsia and some white paint together to create the perfect light pink color. Using the one millimeter blue stylus and light pink paint, we'll be placing two identical small dots in between the dots we just laid down. We want these to be the same size, so feel free to add more paint to your dotting tool if needed. For the third row of our pattern, we're going to be using white rod tool number 4.5 and white paint to lay down a dot just above the small dots from the row before. I'm going to use my stylus tool to smooth out this paint again so that I don't have any lumps for when we eventually do the top dots. Next, we'll be using the 0.8 millimeter yellow stylus and some white paint to add three dots to this row. They're super small dots, and to make sure that we don't run them into each other, I'm gonna add one dot on either end and then one in the center. It's the easiest way to avoid touching them and also make sure that they're spaced out evenly in the spot that we need to add them. For our fourth row, we'll be returning to the color black and using white rod number 6.0 to add a black dot just above the three white dots from the previous row. For the next part of our pattern, we'll be using a technique called walking the dots. We'll need our two millimeter pink stylus to start, and then we'll be flipping it over to walk the dots down to a smaller size. The next tool we'll need is the three millimeter green stylus to do the exact same thing using the three millimeter side to make the larger dot and then flipping it over to use the other side of the stylus to walk the dots. To walk the dots, you load your tool with paint and then place your dot first and continue to keep dotting without reloading paint onto your tool. This will cause the dots to get smaller and smaller in size as you continue to walk the dots. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, except for the fact that we won't be needing to put down the big dots, so we won't be using the two millimeter and three millimeter side of our stylus. We'll just be using the smaller side to walk the dots down and finish off the pattern on the opposite side. For the next section, we're going to be using light pink paint and the three millimeter green stylus, as well as the skinniest stylus that you have to create swipes. We'll be putting a nice plump dot of paint first, and then using the very thinnest stylus that you have, you're going to drag that dot straight down in a swiping motion. You want that swipe to end in a tapered finish. So be careful that you don't grab too much paint or that you load your stylus with too much paint. It's important that you do it slowly and take your time. This is incredibly sped up. If you do this in real time, it is very, very slow process. So take your time about it and make sure you get that beautiful elongated teardrop shape that tapers out to a pointed finish. That is the beauty of a swipe. Now let's do that all over again using the fuchsia paint. 
And we're going to do this in real time. I have not sped this up in any way. You are watching me do this basically live, but not really, <laughs> but in real time. So you can see how I'm really taking my time and dragging down the paint and making sure that I'm getting to a tapered finish. I'm also making sure that my swipes are not overlapping and I'm actually intentionally leaving some space between my fuchsia swipe and my light pink swipe. And you'll see why a little bit later. Now, I don't know about you, but I would love to see this sped up because I think it'd be a lot of fun to watch. So let's enjoy it. pattern and we'll move on now to embellishments in this case we'll be using some top dots and we'll use white rod number 6.0 and some light gray to do a center top dot ladies and gentlemen please join me for a moment of silence for the lost footage of top dots in rows two and three comment below if you'd like to know what tools and paint i used in the lost footage Okay, let's get back to our top dots. Next, we're going to be using white rod number 4.0 and some light gray paint to be adding some top dots to the black dots from row four. Using any stylus we have, we're going to flip it over and use the smaller side and dip that into the light gray paint and add those top dots to the first row. Let's add a little bit more fuchsia by adding a center dot with the 4.0 white rod. And we'll follow that up by using the two millimeter pink stylus to add some fuchsia top dots to the third row. Let's add one more round of black top dots to the fourth row using the three millimeter green stylus. And now for the final touch, we're going to walk the dots between our swipes using some white paint. I started off using the blue one millimeter stylus. It was too big and I switched over to the 0 0.8 millimeter yellow stylus, which was the perfect size to walk the dots. Now that our paint is dry, we're going to put the cap back on and we're going to do that by bending these little rods inward or you can cut them off if you prefer and then holding it using the pliers and adding some hot glue. Now the reason I bent them inside is because we don't want them scraping the sides of the ornament and accidentally taking some of that glitter off. And there we are. Our ornament is ready to shine. Thank you for joining me in making another sparkly glitter ornament together. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to subscribe for more fun projects as we continue to get crafty together. Toodaloo!